Uh, we are back at Mount Airy, North Carolina. This is two weeks after Mayberry Days. And the reason we are back, we've never come back so quick after Mayberry mm -hmm. Days, have we? No. Um, they have in the second weekend of October here in Mount Airy, and this is a huge event. We did not realize how huge till we tried to find parking. Uh, we've never had uh, trouble finding parking for Mayberry Days. We had trouble finding parking today. Mm -hmm. They have their annual Autumn Leaves Festival. This is the 58th straight year. Anniversary. It started in 1966, and here it is, 2024, 58th annual Autumn Leaves Festival in Mount Airy. The reason we decided to do this, we're not gonna be here long, uh, but we do wanna see it. Uh, we're not gonna get to experience it as much as we'd like to. We are actually meeting friends and friends of the channel over at the depot at Cody Creek here in just a little bit in Dobson. So we thought we would just kind of come up on up to Mount Airy. There's a shirt she didn't get from Mayberry Days two mm -hmm. weeks ago that she wanted to come back and get. So we're gonna go through town here and we're gonna show you the Autumn Leaves Festival. So go with us. So there are a lot of people in town. In fact, um, we were reading on this festival as we were coming up yep. here and there have been years where this weekend, the festival goes what, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, is that right? right? Um, second weekend in October. And there have been weekends where they've had over 200,000 people here in Mount Airy, North Carolina. So, this is a big deal here. They got a tent over here. You can get chicken stew, corn on the, roasted corn on the cob, lemonade, funnel cakes. And this is the main strip in Mayberry. And I want you to look at all those tents. The streets are closed off, and there is just vendor after vendor lining those streets, so we're gonna go on up there. And Shaughnessy just noticed this, but 13 Bones, we actually did a video review there. When we were up here for Mayberry Days, they actually have a truck over here. So if you wanna try some of their food, they got a little mobile truck over here. Okay, so we're just gonna see what they got here. Look at this. You can get you a custom ring right here. Oh, look at this, light switch covers. I'm gonna have to turn the camera off and look at some of these. Hold on, I wanna look at some of these. Go ahead and give us stuff. Oh, those are nice. Yeah, like for lights, uh, not lights, light switches. Yeah, they got all kinds of them in there. Look at that. Uh, we actually, the second tent we came to was those uh, uh, light cover switches. So you got that. My, our downstairs basement area has kind of got a lot of vintage metal signs on it. So I thought well, I would get a, a light cover, light switch cover for downstairs in our basement. That's where we work out and have a lot of vintage signs. That's for our bathroom. It has like an aqua colored beach uh, theme. Beach theme. So anyway, yeah, pretty happy nice. to find those. I find myself looking for the Mayberry characters and it's hard to accept they're not going to be here. But, uh, but this is a, a lot bigger event than what I thought or what I knew. Dog treats, flavored dog treats over there. Hold these full out. Yeah. I'll show I'll try to show one side of the street as we go up and then the other side coming down. There's some scented soy candles. Looks like pocketbooks and wallets. How different does it feel in town now that it's not Mayberry Days? I know it does. It just like you get reminders looking at like Opie's candy. I think if, if this festival wasn't going on, I'd be depressed. <laughs> but I'm not depressed just because, you know, look at this here. We got okay. North Surrey High School. <laughs> oh, that's what me and her are. Yeah, so I'll try to get up here and show you what that is. Deep fried Oreos. Fused glass. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, I'll show you that coming back down. The Bear Creek Trading, uh, it's a great store anyway. They have a candy and a fudge section, but they've got their fudge outside now. Antique Mall. Oh, looks straight ahead. Yeah, look at this. Hold on, let me. To give you an idea how big event this is here in Mount Airy. with our friends, the Cantrells, uh, Walker Soda Fountain, the caricature drawings. How are you like there you just don't like donuts oh look at these apples here the flavors are there cotton candy apples well i'm really regretting right now that we don't have more time to spend here today i know even down the side streets yeah i miss her back that way there's one of those kona ice things that's what you got the smoothie at our festival the other week yeah but yeah. was it that a kona it was huh. <laughs> from uh, the talent, Tiny Tim's Talent Show, part two of our Mayberry Days. He, he performed for us on stage. Those are ones you can personalize too. Okay. 
they do that right here for you. They wouldn't want me doing that. That's just handwriting, right? Yeah. <laughs> you so cute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Soaps, salves, and <laughs> salves. What? That's what I got here. Grand Gourmet Dips. All kinds of flavors. What's this? That's something for your pet, I guess. It's a microwave. Well, basically, you put your bowl in the microwave. Oh, I thought that's something for your pets. Oh, cattle dog crafts. That's just the... Yeah, so it keeps your... You can grab it out. So whoever you team it, Carolina Panthers, who are not exactly strike fear in the hearts of other NFL teams right now. Here is the make a candle section. I don't know how that works, but looks like you got a lot of different options there if you want to make a candle. Let's just look at this. Look how many people are in town for this event today. Look at that. I saw pictures like that on their Facebook page, and I mean, we were wondering if that was even exaggerated a little. It is not. And this is Friday. Yeah, this is Friday. Tomorrow will be a lot worse. All right, so we're actually walking down a section now we usually don't get into. When we come to Mayberry Days, we don't usually walk down this far. No. But all kinds of, here, let me get over there. Okay. Uh, we got wood ornaments right here. Those are really, really pretty. That reminds you of something you would see like up in Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge area. Townsend. So, yeah, this is a this is a big event. We like fall festivals, don't we? Yes, we do. But I don't think, I mean, that's not an uncommon thing for towns here in western North Carolina. To, uh, a lot of western uh, towns in our mountains have festivals, but this is probably the biggest one I've ever seen. Yes, it's our by, by a lot. Yes. Uh, so if there's another one this big, I don't know where it's at, but this is pretty impressive. Well, it says that they'll have over 200,000 visitors yeah. in one weekend. Yeah, I mentioned, I mentioned that back when we were doing uh, right after the intro. Yeah, so yeah. it's big. Yeah, that's almost a quarter of a million people in Mayberry. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we'll keep walking. And if you're at the festival and you decide you want a garage, a barn, or an RV cover, they'll fix you right up. They've even got little model displays there, I guess. Of a carport. I see some North Carolina and Tennessee wood plaques up here. I guess let's get up here and look at those. Oh, those are like college themed. Okay, those are nice. Wow, that is. Oh, look. What's that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Pilot Mountain State Park, which is not far from here. Look at the one with the county. Yeah. Here's one. It's got Neyland Stadium on it. Here's all 100 counties in North Carolina. So, just to give you some perspective on that, we live right here in southern Caldwell County, and we are right now up here. So, we've gone from here up here. And, of course, Waynesville, Maggie Valley is back over here. Those are nice. There's ECU down in Greenville, North Carolina. There's a Andy and Opie themed one. Here we go. At NC State, Wake Forest, App State. Here's one of downtown Mount Airy. And then that other school. That's pretty impressive, too. Yeah. Fried apple pies. There's nothing I like better in the fall than a fried apple pie.
and how much those are. Four dollars with ice cream, five. I would want to take it to go. Those are cinnamon rolls there. Oh, yeah. That local honey. There's all kinds of food vendors here. Pretty much anything you're in the mood for. There's that homemade ice cream thing that they had now. Yeah. Yeah, I got the uh, I got one of those Mayberry days two weeks ago. That Looks like the same one too. They got a lot more flavors this time though. Said they got more flavors this time. They only, they only had vanilla and chocolate before. They got looks like peach, vanilla, strawberry, chocolate, chocolate cookie and cream, caramel apple. That would be good. Yeah. And peanut butter chocolate. I'm wanting one pretty bad. <laughs> but we're going to eat here in a little bit. Hi in your YouTube channel. Huh? Hey camera. Yeah, how'd you know we had a YouTube channel? Have you seen us before? Yes, sir. All right. I'm subscribed. Well, I appreciate that. You're a good man. Thank you. Yeah, good to meet you. You from around here? Yes, sir. Okay. Shout me out. Go follow me on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, everything. My name is Braylon George. All right, y'all heard that. So check him out. Man, this just goes on and on all the way up here. Oh yeah, look at this, folks. Even down the side streets. We thought we, we an hour was plenty of time to see this. It ain't. <laughs> now that side street I just showed you, a girl when I was uh, recording, or actually when I turned it off, said it goes for another mile down that way. I don't think we're gonna walk all the way down, but just to let you know how fast this is. Oh yeah, let's go check that out.
sure what this is. What are those? It's over there, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> this street here it goes for um, she said about a mile I don't think we're gonna walk all the way through. yeah we'll walk a little bit and just see what it is yeah if, like I said earlier if you come here you ain't gonna starve to death if you do it's your fault because there's just a little bit of everything so yeah, even if you want tacos, you gotta they got um, street corn there, tostadas, queso burritos. I don't even know what, what that is, but so it's kind of warmed up after a, a start this morning at the house at 38 degrees. It's kind of warmed up into the 60s now. We're walking right into the sun. But she's right. That does, I don't know if it's a mile or not, but it's going a long ways down yes, through here. Is. And we're not on Main Street now. We're, we're on a side street. And it just kind of, she said, gets bigger every year. Well, one girl that I saw from when I went into the Mayberry department store, I was asking her about it. She said that even down there at Walmart, which is how far from here, has people set up down there. Because it's just spread. Wow. Out, so. Yeah. So. I guess those are like flag holder things that you put here and put a flag here. Like, those are nice. Those are. I like those. I'm just, I'm, I'm just curious. $100? You know what? For that, that's fine. I would have thought it would have been a couple a lot hundred. More. Yeah. That's yeah. Fine. You want one? I'll take two. Really? Yeah. Well, I hope you had a good payday. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, look at the birdhouse. Those are very creative. Yeah, I don't think we're going to walk down too much further, but just there's a lot of stuff. I'm going to go to the line and see how far it goes down past the lot. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, so we're we're going as far as the lot. <laughs> and let me give you a little perspective here. We're not going to go down that far today because we don't have time. We have to leave here in just a little bit and head to meet our friends. But wow. You like sunflowers? There's your the sunflower. Oh, yeah. $20. I like the Christmas, that's pretty You like cool. Cardinals, that was 30. If you like dogs, you can get you some dog themed. I got a lot of stuff, shirts, bandanas cell phone covers. Actually, it's called coin hole. It's a type of type of port. Oh, yeah. I was just going by looking. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Three in the hole, one on the oh, board. Oh, I got you. Twenty-one. That would be a big cell phone, wouldn't it? It is. That's a big cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I was looking at some of those small ones there. That's pretty cool. Thank you. 
All right, I'm going to quit trying to narrate now. I just made an idiot out of myself. So, <laughs> I was just looking at them all stacked up. That's what I thought they was. Well, at first glance, it was like that. Yeah. All right, so we're getting back up here to Main Street now. Got apple and peach butter right there. making friends you can build you on right here. <laughs> I'm not on to do that. thing. Oh, let's see. What is this? Oh, dip mixes. You can even sample them right there. Well, that's herbal teas, I guess. Carolina Bee Farm, so I'm assuming that's going to be honey. Some of that came from Hendersonville, then I got some from my friend. Look at this, you got bees hanging around this too. Just want to get a picture. Turn the balloon around. That's why, yeah. Oh wow, there's a lot more in there. Look at that. Which one is this one? That is the wobble one. I'm probably going to get stung. Stand it on it because it's good. I was willing to put my neck out there and get stung for the video. <laughs> And it didn't happen, so. Smoked turkey legs over there and blooming onions, Celtic fries. I always want to say Celtic. I'm sure one of our correctors would correct me on that. <laughs> but it ain't the Boston Celtics when you watch a basketball game. So, right, so I'm going to cut the camera off because we're getting close to that racket again. But just show right over there to the right. Well, thing. I'm going to go in behind it and see if I can't get a good shot at it. Yeah. Okay, so here's the child's play area. Over there you can get you some pen toes and cornbread. Uh, blackberry, sweet potato, peach cobbler, and a slice of cake. Face painting. Probably is. 
That's a great store. If you want a Mayberry shirt, there's several places in town that's got some good ones. But they got a lot of uh, variety. They got fudge, candy, cookie dough, chocolate walnut, peanut butter. Eight dollars in. It's all good. Pretty much the same flavors they had inside last week. You, you gonna get any? No, because I know Mayberry Days, it was buy two, get one free, and I don't see that on there. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so here we got some benches made from tail. Where else have we seen one of those? A bench made out of a tailgate. Did my, did Tom have one of those? You know what, I think you did, your uncle. Yeah, yeah, Minnesota. Okay, I knew I'd seen that before. This angel has got fried Well. Then Miss Angels, it is because that is already a wonderful place. Oh, and you have tried those pot pies you were talking about. Pulled pork. I've been wanting to try those pulled pork pot pies, but we're going to eat supper and we won't be home for about three or four hours, so I don't know. So, if this place looks familiar to you, that's because it is. This was in our Mayberry Days Part 1 video. We were just in here. Um, it would be a shame to come to Mount Area and not come in here because they have so many good things. I'm not going to show all of it to you again because I just did. But we're going to get a couple of things. There's Opie's candy store. I want to show you that because I'm going to, when she comes out of the pie place, I'm going to go back out in the street. We're just about done. 
with the walking tour and there's a lot more we didn't see. So keep that in mind, there's a lot here. Okay, just a couple more tents here we're gonna show you. There's a, a beautiful tent with a lot of holiday decorations there. Candles, wreaths. There's Opie's Candy Store. Floyd's Barber Shop. And the Snappy Lunch, which they don't look open yet. I don't know if they just didn't open today or, you know, we didn't get to go there a couple of weeks ago because of the hurricane knocking the power out. But they don't look open now either. All right, so we're getting ready to head on down to Dobson and the depot at Cody Creek. Great place to eat. Our friends from California have been wanting to try it. They're out here, so we're gonna meet them over there here in just a little bit. And here will be the last tent. You see a lot of these around uh, towns in Tennessee, Wares Valley area, these chainsaw carvings. Now, I have a chainsaw, but I promise you, I can't do anything like that. So.